Okay, for our, our third assignment, I want us to do a value painting. In this particular case, I'm going to do a, uh, this wolf, do a little watercolor of the wolf. But I'm going to do a little value sketch first, a little tiny one, a little comp. Here's the, the one, that's the one I'm going to do. That's on better paper, better pad. This is on the cheap paper, and this is called a, a little thumbnail comp. So I want us to get in the habit of doing that for all our paintings because we don't necessarily know where we're going to go sometimes. And it helps to have a little tiny version of what we want to do first. So I'm going to just start out doing a little little comp. And I noticed there's, in my photo, there's darks above the head and then a lot of white down here. So I'll stick with that for right now. I want to make th things happen a little bit, so I'm going to put some color around here to hold the bottom part of this shape here. By the way, I'm using Payne's Gray. You can use black if you have it and you like black. Um, Payne's Gray tends to be a little bit warmer, bluish tint to it. And you don't want to be totally worried about detail on this. You just want to get your darks and light pattern going so you kind of see what is the main value pattern of the painting. I like the background to have like its own sort of shape rather than just mimic the shape of the wolf or whatever the subject is. It's almost done because the comp isn't supposed to be that detailed. Sometimes I get carried away. You don't have to do this much detail if you don't want to, but I like sometimes it's fun to just paint. And actually sometimes your, your little comp looks better than your real painting because you just, you don't really care so much about it but then it ends up looking really nice because you're sort of spontaneous and you didn't care how it looks. And so for me, that's enough of a, a, enough of a comp. You kind of get what I want to do as a, as a watercolor. I like to have the, this dark up here. It looks nice, it looks, holds all the shape of the head. And that's it. So now I'm going to do the final value painting. Remember, there's my our comp. So I'll have that off to the side so I can use that as a reference. And then I'm going to start. Kind of start the same way. I'm trying to add some uh, color around the bottom part here so I can distinguish that from the background a bit. And just start laying in objects. One thing about watercolors, you don't want to go dark too fast unless you really know an area is going to be dark. So for me, I usually start out a little light and then the as things go and progress, I can go ahead and lay in some nice darts. So the big difference between the final and the comp is probably obvious that you spend more time on the final. So here's the finish with the comp. And this is what we're going to be doing for most of our assignments. I'd like a little comp first, get your bearing straight, and then do your final. 